Hey, I'm Matt with Apprentice Help, and today in our first video, we're going to be going over a quick refresher on how to find uh, the different sides of a triangle. So, as a carpenter, the main kind of triangle that you're going to be working with is a right angle triangle. And this is really important that this angle is 90 degrees because it's kind of the foundation for everything else. And specifically, how to find the hypotenuse if you don't have it. Um, and then we'll look at how to find some of the other lengths of the sides. Uh, this is, like I said, the Pythagoras theorem. Um, and it's probably a refresher for most of you. Uh, and if, if you have it, then you can move along to something else nice and quick. Anyways, let's dive right in. When we're working with the Pythagoras theorem, side C is generally always going to be the hypotenuse. A can be up here, B can be down here, it doesn't really matter. This can be A, this can be B, that's fine. But the key is that we always remember that C is the hypotenuse. So up here we're going to pretend that we don't know what the hypotenuse is. And we'll use a really common uh, triangle that you'll use throughout most of your career in carpentry. We call it the 3-4-5 triangle. One of the sides is going to be 3 maybe three feet, three inches, whatever. The other side is gonna be four. We'll just say feet for ease of illustration. And then we wanna figure out what C is. I've already said it's three, four, five, so we know, so we can actually work with that now just to double check ourselves. So the Pythagoras theorem is based on the idea of C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared. So let's, let's put this into our example here. So c squared, which is our hypotenuse, is equal to a squared. That's three to the power of two. It means three times itself, so three times three, plus b squared, which is four to the power of two, which is four times four. Go down to the next level. c squared equals three times three is nine. <laughs> 4 times 4 is 16. C squared equals... Now 25 is not the answer yet. <clears throat> we still have C squared, so that's whatever this is times itself equals 25. So you have to use the root function on your calculator, which I'll show you in the next example. But basically, it's the square root of C squared equals the square root of 25. If you put that into your calculator, you'll see that that's 5. I don't do that off the top of my head. The only reason I know that is because this is a really common triangle that we use in carpentry. Okay, now we'll try doing this with the scientific calculator. So we'll turn it on. So we want to figure out what our calculation is. So we take 3 to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2 equals 25. So the square root function is one of the second functions above the x to the power of 2. So you go second function square root of 25 equals 5. Let's do another example. I'm just going to choose some random numbers. So we'll say that the height is, uh, is 10, the base is 3, and then we have an unknown. So we'll write in the same equation. So c squared equals 10 squared plus 3 squared. 10 times 10 is 100, plus 3 times 3 is 9. That's 109. If we do the square root of that, I need to get my calculator here, is 10.44. Ten point four four of whatever say inches, whatever base unit you're using. That's really important when you do these to keep everything in the same base unit. Don't say like ten feet and then three inches. If it's all going to be in feet, do everything in feet. If it's all going to be in inches, do everything in inches. It's a really good way to confuse yourself really quickly. All right, let's take a look at the next example. So this is an example where we actually have the hypotenuse. Let's say this is, we'll, we'll stick with our three, four, five because we've already solved it, we know what it is. Um, we have the hypotenuse, we have one of the sides, but we don't have the base. 
And now this equation actually isn't going to work in that instance because um, it's designed to solve the wrong thing. And you can't just say b squared equals uh, a squared plus c squared. That doesn't work either. What you actually have to do is change this to b squared equals c squared minus a squared. The same thing works if you need to find a squared. a squared equals c squared minus b squared. It's just the same thing, except you're substituting out an addition for a subtraction. So in this example, uh, we have our a squared, which we don't know. I just imagine this is b, this is a, it's fine, or whatever. Uh, five squared, which is our c, minus three squared. Five times five is 25, minus three times three is nine, so 16. The square root of 16 is 4. 3, 4, 5. Now you have your triangle. I hope that this video on the Pythagoras theorem has been helpful, at least as a review, if not for new information for some of you. Um, I feel like this can be really intimidating at the beginning of an apprenticeship program, but if you really spend a little bit of time to understand these fundamentals, you're going to use them a lot in your career. So take the time and make sure you check out some of the, uh, the practice questions that I'm putting together and read the rest of the article underneath to just make sure that you really grasp it before moving forward. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll, I'll do my best to help you out. Best of luck.